for getting a spa clean. It's not really a better way than taking the vacuum hose off the vacuum because there's so many corners and everything to get in there really good. It just kind of takes taking the head off. It's important once in a while to water change on a spa. So what I like to do is when I'm vacuuming my pool is go ahead and take the vacuum hose, leave it plugged in to the pool that I was vacuuming and switch it over to the spa and then drag the water from the spa over into the pool and that way I'm changing some of the water from the spa. It also works if your spa was over chlorinated, if, it had, if your chlorine levels were too high and you needed to reduce your chlorine instead of wasting all that chlorine and using a chlorine neutralizer or dumping the water you can just vacuum it over into the pool and then you're not wasting your chlorine so this is the way to go in my opinion what I need to do is make a rig for a pole that I can stick this on a pole so here it is the way to rig this you can take the hose off and you've got a little bungee cord here and then I'm going to take the vacuum head off and the dogs sliding it off here You can hear my spa water is going a little low, but anyway, it's got an anti-cavitation device. We're going to bungee strap this hose here. And I accidentally lifted the hose above the water level, so I'm going to have to run over and Purge the air line. And we have a dip here now so that we can just insert this and get them anywhere we want to. Now I'm able to reach into these areas. Get all the stuff out. A little better control here. With the hose. This is for spa. It's just so tight in there. Try to get in there with the vacuum it really doesn't doesn't get it. But this is my nice easy way to get in there. Get it down. Nice and clean. The other nice advantage of the bungee cord is it makes it real convenient to carry your hoses around. Dual purpose.